So y equals square root of 4x squared plus 49. And the x equals 5. Delta x is negative 0 0.8. Same set up. So x means x1. Let's clean up a little bit. So x1 equals 5. The delta x is the same as dx. Okay. So x2 is x1 plus delta x, which is 5 plus negative 0 0.8. Then we get delta x, uh, x2 as 4.2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I will go to find delta y minus dy. So we're going to come back to this part in a bit. So for the prep work, the delta y is y2 minus y1, <clears throat> or the function at x2 minus the function at x1, which is the function at 4.2 minus the function at 5. Okay, the function at 4.2 is square root of 4 multiplied by 4.2 squared plus 49, then subtracted by square root of 4 times 5 squared, with parentheses here, and then plus 49. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to get the numbers. So what do you get for the first one as uh, so 4, four times 4.2 squared and added by 49 in the number. power. So what do you get? It's very long, so... Did, That's did why I, I do three, three decimal. Round so, to four decimal places for now. It's just as four? a backup. Yes, uh-huh. What do you have? Uh, 10.9343. Okay, that's good. And then how about the second number? Second number, I guess. Mm -hmm. When you replace x with the five. So uh, you say it's four decimal, right? Right. So it's like 12.2066. 12 12.2066, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, and then subtract these two numbers. What do you get? It's going to be a negative number, right? Yeah. 1.27. Two, seven, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we leave it the way it is. And then the next part is going to be the differential part. For the differential, again, based on the formula, dy by dx is y prime. Therefore, the y prime, the dy is y prime times dx. And we're going to need to find the y prime for the y as the function. I'm going to write as the power form for x squared plus 49. The square root is the same as what power? Uh, 1 over 2. Uh -huh, one half. Mm -hmm. And then 2 by y prime. We're going to need to use what rule again? General power rule. Then general power rule. OK, for the general power rule, we have n equals 1 half. We have gx as 4x squared plus 49. And what is g prime? What is the derivative of the g? Oh, uh, a x. Eight x, uh huh. Eight x. So we need these numbers. So putting them together as n, which is one half. So I'm gonna get back to the red. So one half multiplied by g to the power original subtracted by one, which is negative one over two, and then multiply by the derivative of the g, which is eight x. Okay. Oh, I forgot to subtract the uh, uh, subtract the power by one. Yeah, I forgot to subtract the power. Uh -huh. And then you can reduce two and eight becomes four. So the numerator is four x. Negative power, it can be the reciprocal of the positive power. And the positive power 
you can write as the square root for our convenience. You see what I'm working on? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now we're going to replace it into the formula for the differential. So then the dy equals the y prime, which is 4x divided by the square root of 4x squared plus 49. And then multiply by the dx, this is y prime, and the dx is the quantity negative 0 0.8. as provided by the problem. Mm -hmm. Evaluate when x equals original x, which is five. So we're gonna replace x with the five. So we have four multiplied by five divided by square root of four times five squared plus 49, and then multiply by negative 0 0.8. So let's work on the numbers. And when you're done, could you let me know what number do you get? And then we, when we're going to finalize it at the end. So bring it to the main part of the problem. The delta y is negative 1.2723. And then subtract it by negative 1.3108. OK. And what do we get? We get. Um, to, let me see, wrong number here. So we have negative 1.2723 plus 1.3108. And that is uh did we get the right number? So we get 0 0.0385. That is up a little bit because we're allowed to fold it some more places. So yeah. we have 0 0.0385. So if we keep it as decimal, I thought we should round it extra and then round at the end later. If this is negative 1.311, so for the three decimal places version, going to be negative 1.272 minus negative 1.3, uh, one, one. 